Today, we'll be creating this fun Van Gogh inspired painting using polymer clay. This shows you just how versatile polymer clay can be. So let's get into it. If you'd like to try this project, you will need the following materials. A plastic palette to cut our clay on, a hobby knife, a modeling tool with a flat end on it, a round paintbrush, a disposable plastic palette, a 12 piece gouache paint set, a 13 by 18 canvas, a bowl to hold our water and some plaster of Paris. The first step is to create a base inside the frame. We are going to use the frame wrapping to contain the plaster. Make sure the canvas is face up and carefully cut the front of the canvas out with a hobby knife. To create the plaster, I add 250 mils of water to the bowl, and to that I add approximately 100 grams of plaster. Plaster should always be added to the water, and we want it to be the consistency of thickened cream. Stir it up, and if it's too thin, add more plaster. Once it has a smooth consistency, pour it into the frame, and leave it approximately five centimeters shy of the top of the frame. Tap the side of the frame gently to release any air bubbles and let this cure. Supplied is a printout with the simple layout of the scene. You can draw this in directly as it's quite simple, or you can shade the back side of the print, flip it over and transfer the outline with a sharp pencil. Once we have the outline, it's a good idea to colour code the work, as this will provide us with a rough guide to follow regarding the colours we will use. For this, we can really use any paint. In this case, I'm using a 12-piece gouache set. The second colour sheet can be used for guidance on where the colours approximately lie. Now we can start laying in the clay. The general rule is to flatten out a 25 mm by 25 mm block of clay to a thickness of approximately 4 to 5 mm. Cut it to shape and press it onto the base. All of the colours used are outlined in that lesson plan.
Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this fun little lesson and are inspired to maybe give something like this a try. Stay tuned and we'll see you next time. Bye.